After finding out that the Syrian government had made limited use of chemical weapons and had passed the, the previously established red line of the American government, uh, Obama decided to arm in some, to some extent the rebels in Syria. We don't know the exact nature of the arming. We assume some sort of, of light weaponry. Um, but now we have a polls about whether the American public supports this. And it turns out that they do not. 70% opposed, 20% in favor of the arming. Again, now these numbers are based off of very little information about what that arming would actually look like in practice. And I'll just throw in, by the way, that this is across party lines. 74% of independents oppose it, 71% of Republicans, and even two out of three Democrats oppose the arming of the rebels. Yeah, your 68% comes from the yes. number who said the U.S. military was already overcommitted. Uh, yeah. You know, polls like this, Previous, I mean, I get that you know, they, they, they bear, I don't care. I mean, this is, in a situation like arming the Syrian rebels, the president really ought not pay attention to polls of, no, of, of like Americans John who has. This is a theoretical right. poll. This isn't a specific, we don't know what it would mean. In right, but I mean, nobody in that poll knows what's happening in Syria. Exactly. Nobody knows yeah. what that means to arm the they Syrian rebels. They may have heard of the cannibal video. Right. That's about it at this point. We don't know what that means. It's, uh, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I Obama's hesitancy and reluctance to engage in Syria uh, has always struck me as, as, as prudent. And there may come a time now, and I don't know, you know, the chemical weapons, that seems an arb totally arbitrary yeah. line. Dead is dead mm -hmm. and brutality is brutality. And the real only issue there is how can we influence an outcome that makes that region safer? Yeah. And, and otherwise, I wouldn't Otherwise, yeah. I wouldn't commit anything. And listen, they just had the G8 in Northern Ireland, and everybody said, well, I can't wait to see what they're, they're going to come out of this with a plan for right. Syria. Plan. It's the G8 economic yeah. reform, right? <laughs> uh, and of course, nothing came out of the G8 on Syria. It's, it's a wait and see thing. And I, I agree with Ben. I think the administration did well. I think uh, Secretary Clinton, when she was there, uh, did a great job excoriating the people on the on the uh, UN Security Council who would not have called for sanctions against Syria, the, the, uh, such as Russia and China at that time. And uh, I, I think, uh, sadly, I mean, it's uh, Bill Clinton always talks about his greatest regret being uh, Rwanda, not having stepped in in Rwanda. I, I'm sure he said other regrets at other times, but but Rwanda was his this big. Is his biggest policy regret. Biggest yeah. policy yeah. regret. Yeah. Yeah. Now, the truth is, yeah. I don't think he regretted it. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if he regretted that <laughs> stuff. Like, yeah. It was fine. Yeah. Look, he had huge popularity. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, right. Uh, and again, I always felt that he was hiding that from Chelsea and, and Hillary and nobody no else. else. Yeah, right, that's yeah. the thing. He was like, uh, to the rest of the country, just don't dump that. <laughs> um, but, but uh, you know, so there is a burden on a government to step in when you see murder and you see this killing. It is a really, really difficult thing for yeah. them to do. Uh, I, I don't know how I would have voted in that poll. I yeah. mean, I, I think, you know, arming the rebels is a good thing, but I think the diplomacy in getting out, I mean, the war's already going on there. So trying diplomacy to get Assad out of there with an Arab League like George H.W. Bush put together when he was trying with, with Kuwait, it, that's, that seems a better way to go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and it seems like Obama is really hedging his bets, like the, the old arm. He wants to appear to some people like he's giving some support. If you want intervention here, I'm giving them the weapons. But if you oppose us getting involved, I'm not sending troops. You know, we haven't even talked about setting up the, uh, the no-fly zone yet, which, by the way, Russia says they could fundamentally not allow that to happen. The, the That's problem, ominous. Yeah, they... Right. Well, for, thankfully, we're not talking about setting up a no-fly zone now. Exactly. So, yeah, right. but, but when, when the, the red line was crossed, that's one of the things we expected might happen. Yeah, I thought that was going to happen, actually. I thought they were going to do a no-fly zone, and that actually seemed reasonable to me. Well, I mean, maybe, that, now that, uh, maybe now that uh, Vladimir Putin is uh, sending Bob Kraft a replacement <laughs> a ring, ring. Yeah, but that, that'll, that, that'll that, be the beginning of coming that together. That could help. Uh, oh, you know, it may help him also. Diplomacy. The soft side <laughs> may help him on Match.com, too. Like, if he shows a soft right. sign, that might, may help Putin. Uh -huh. One thing that I do think that the, the administration and the the government or the, the Defense Department doing well is it doesn't seem like the the, per, the public perception anyway doesn't seem Israel driven here, which I think is a good thing for the United mm -hmm. States. I mean, I, I don't see well, you know, we, we talked to Israel about this and we're not going to do this. We spoke with Israel. Israel yeah. said, I, I like that it's not yeah. Israel sent.